is breaking news from CBS 11. It's 4.30. We're still on top of that breaking news we've been following out of Colorado this afternoon. A shooting at a STEM school in the Denver suburb of Highlands Ranch. Authorities saying the situation still very much active and still unstable. We do know of at least seven injured people, both juveniles, both in stable condition. Those are two juveniles we told you about earlier. Those we understand are in stable condition. Reporter Karen Morfitt at our sister station in Denver is on the scene and just filed this report for us. We haven't seen it, uh, very many students arrive here. Actually, a f the first uh, vehicle with some what appeared to be students getting off of it just arrived um, further down the parking lot here in that white uh, boxy type vehicle. There was a number of kids that got out of that, went into the back of the rec center. Um, they looked about middle uh, middle school age children, and so they were uh, escorted in. Uh, parents weren't there as they got off; they were just uh, moved in there. Uh, the parents are all coming into this front side of the rec center here, but that was really the first um, first sign of any students. That we've seen come into this rec center, while most of what we've been seeing have been a number of parents just waiting either outside, going inside um, on cell phones. Um, again, that was about the first uh, set of children that we did see kind of go into this rec center. And um, I imagine those parents that are inside being able to reunite with them will be a pretty uh, emotional moment for everyone. We're seeing a number of other vehicles coming in right now. Uh, you know, this was the type of vehicle we saw a number of students get out of earlier. There's a good chance that that could be uh, more students arriving here and more parents uh, obviously anxiously waiting to see if this would be some of their students or some of their children here. Many of them have been waiting here for several minutes, 30 minutes to, you know, just as long as this has been happening, as soon as they knew that they could come here to the rec center, it appears they got here as quickly as they could. Um, what we're seeing, though, here is a lot of parents still on their cell phones, what appears to be maybe trying to reach students or other family members. Um, again, still waiting on some of those reunions, obviously. Um, this is a very fluid situation right now, so not a lot of what we're seeing is as reuniting of students. This is a lot of parents and a lot of them very frantic. It's Karen Morfit reporting uh, and th those kind of scenes when they play out like that. As a parent, you your heart leaps out of your chest. You can just right? feel the anxiety there yeah. in, in that area. We also know the sheriff did take a moment to speak to media just a couple of moments ago. We want to share what they had to say, a quick update from them. Uh, school district and uh, sheriff's offices and other agencies are helping us get the kids back to the school. Many kids uh, self-evacuated. Uh, the rest were, are being taken there by bus with uh, conjunction with the school district. We have seven confirmed injuries, possibly eight. Uh, we do not believe that there's another suspect in the school. However, they are still clearing the, the, the classrooms and uh, making sure the school is safe. All right, so the update from the sheriff uh, as we take one more live picture of the massive police and fire rescue response there. So seven, possibly eight on the injured side. Possibly eight. We had heard from a hospital. We had seen a tweet from a hospital confirming two of the students had been taken to that hospital. Two, those two students were in stable condition, but we are still waiting to learn about these other uh, uh, possible five or even six uh, juveniles that were hurt. Well, clearly we're on we're on the air here through 5:30. So if we get anything else of significance, we'll jump right back on the air. 